The automotive landscape in India is undergoing a major transformation with diesel cars facing an uncertain future. The upcoming implementation of Bharat Stage 7 or BS7 emission norms it raises the question, is it the end of the road for diesel cars in India? Union Road Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari has announced that the country will adopt the new BS7 emission norms, aligning with the Euro 7 standards being introduced in the European Union. Well, automakers are advised to begin preparations early as the shift from BS6 to BS7 will involve stricter emission limits. The BS7 norms will require a further reduction in nitrogen oxides from current levels. This change is expected to drive up vehicle costs, particularly for diesel engines due to the high cost of compliance. The BS7 emission standards will impose new regulations not just on uh, tailpipe emissions but also on brake dust, tyre microplastics and refuelling vapour emissions. These stricter regulations aim to reduce overall pollution by 15% and push the growth of cleaner technologies. For diesel vehicles, the cost of compliance is predicted to be higher, potentially leading to substantial increases in their prices. EVs will also be affected with new durability standards for batteries designed to enhance longevity and reduce replacement frequency by 30%. Now, despite all of this, diesel car sales remained stable during the first quarter of 2024, increasing by 11%. Diesel cars still make up 17.3% of the Indian market. Mahindra, followed by Hyundai Kia, are the largest diesel car makers in India. Jeep diesel engines supply accounts for 7% of the market. While the future of diesel cars in India appears uncertain, it is not doomed right now. Automakers are investing in technologies to make diesel engines more efficient and compliant with stricter emission standards. Meanwhile, diesel cars still offer certain advantages such as longer driving ranges and lower fuel cost compared to EVs. Still, the government is committed to reducing vehicle emissions. Nitin Gadkari has already told automakers to say bye-bye to diesel cars. However, the industry and consumers will need to navigate the financial implications and adjustments associated with these new standards.